Introducing News Time with Mr. Tony Oyatedo. Mr. Tony Oyatedo is a journalist, an author, businessman, an evangelist, and above all, an apostle of peace. News Time, a 30 minute talk show on religious and global affairs centered on Africa and Nigeria in particular. Please enjoy. All thanks and praise and glory to the all-wise, all-powerful, ever-present, gracious, merciful God. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Greetings to you, my fellow brothers and sisters, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, the human race. Please. Let us pray. In the name of Almighty God, Allah, Jehovah. The favor and mercy of God will continue to speak for us today and every day. Our head will never bow in shame. Every of our unrepentant adversaries will go the way of Pharaoh and his hosts. We will continue to have a blessed and beautiful day, today and always. All things will work in our favor, today and every day. Almighty God has made all our worries into wonders. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and Amen. The topic for today is Open Doors. Mm. Always remember, when one door is closed, many, many and better ones are opened. Please, take a gracious, glorious journey with us to the Holy Bible in the book of First Samuel, chapter 1, verse 1 to 28. There was a certain man of Ramathahim Zophim, of the hill country of Ephraim, named Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zoph, an Ephraimite. He had two wives. Mm, it's biblical. One named Anna and the other named Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had none. Mm. When one door is closed, many, many and better ones are open. Hear this. This man, Elkanah, went up from his city each year to worship and sacrifice to the Lord God of hosts at Shiloh. Hophni and Phinehas, the two sons of Eli, were priests to the Lord there. When the day came that Elkanah sacrificed, he would give portions of the sacrificial meat to Penina, his wife, and all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he will give a, watch this now, a double portion, because he loved Anna. But the Lord, mm, get this, not whooshies and wizards, evil mother-in-law, a voodoo, native doctors, etc. The Lord had given Hannah no children. Hannah's rival provoked her bitterly to irritate and embarrass her. Hear this? Because the Lord had left her childless. So it happened year after year whenever she went up to the house of the Lord. Penina provoked her so she wept and would not eat. Then Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Hannah, why do you cry? And why do you not eat? 
Why are you so sad and discontent? Am I not better to you than ten sons? Here it is. It is biblical. Next time you hear wives calling their husbands, mm, my baby, you understand. Because the biggest man you ever did see was once a baby. Mm. So Anna got up after eating and drinking in Shiloh. Now Eli, the priest, was sitting on his seat beside the doorpost of the temple, tabernacle of the Lord. Hannah was greatly distressed and she prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. She made a vow saying, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction, suffering of your maid servant and remember and not forget your maid servant but will give your maid servant a son then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life a razor shall never touch his head now it happened as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli was watching her mouth Hannah was speaking in her heart, mind. Mm. Only her lips were moving, and her voice was not heard. So Eli thought she was drunk. Now hear this. This implies that the custom at that time was to pray aloud. But the outcome shows that Almighty God hears prayer whether it is spoken or silent. Eli said to her, How long will you make yourself drunk? Get rid of your wine. But Anna answered, No, my lord, I am a woman with a despairing spirit. I have not been drinking wine or any intoxicating drink. But I have poured out my soul before the Lord God. Do not regard your maidservant as a wicked and worthless woman. For I have spoken until now out of my great concern and bitter provocation. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And may the God of Israel grant your petition that you have asked of him. And I said, let your maid servant find grace and favor in your sight. So the woman went on her way and earth, and her face was no longer sad. The family got up early the next morning, worshipped before the Lord God, and returned to their home in Rama. Elkanah knew his wife and the Lord remembered her prayer. It came about in due time after Hannah had conceived that she gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, mm, saying, Because I have asked for him from the Lord God. Then the man Elkanah and all his household went up to offer to the Lord God the yearly sacrifice and pay his vow. But Anna did not go up, for she said to her husband, mm, I will go up until the child is weaned. I will not go up until the child is weaned. And then I will bring him so that he may appear before the Lord and remain there as he leaves. Hear this? At this time, children were nursed until about age three. But it may be fair to say that Hannah also wanted to keep the boy as long as she reasonably could. Giving up our only child, even for the best of purposes, must have been terribly difficult. Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Do what seems best to you. Wait until you have weaned him. Only 
may the Lord establish and confirm his word. So the woman remained behind and nursed her son until she weaned him. Now when she had weaned him, she took him up with her along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a leather bottle of wine to pour over the burnt offering for a sweet fragrance. And she brought Samuel to the Lord's house in Shiloh, although the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull and brought the child to Eli. And I said, O oh my Lord, as surely as your soul lives, my Lord, I am the woman who stood beside you here praying to the Lord God. For this child I prayed, and the Lord God has granted me my request, which I ask of him. Therefore, I have also dedicated him to the Lord God. As long as he lives, he is dedicated to the Lord God. And they worship the Lord there. Mm. Let us go for a quickie in Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 10. This is part of Anna's song of thanksgiving. Mm. The adversaries of the Lord will be broken to pieces. He will thunder against them in the heavens. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. And he will give strength to his king. And will exalt the horn, strength of his anointed. This will first apply to Saul, whom Samuel would anoint as king of Israel, and then to David and other earthly kings. Ultimately, it can be applied to Jesus Christ, who will rule over Israel and the entire world. Mm. Open doors. One child, Samuel, is aligned with kings and greatness. It is not quantity, how many sons. It is quality, how good is the son. <laughs> good picking, picking good. Uh, so when you see a poor person giving birth to triplets, but a wealthy person is praying to have just one child for years, uh, we want you to reverently fear Almighty God, Allah, Jehovah. Mm. And the time came when the Lord God visited Anna so that she conceived and gave birth to three more sons and two daughters. Allah Akbar. God is great. Hear this. Oil was discovered in the Arabian desert of Saudi Arabia in 1938. Oil was discovered in the riverine area Niger Delta of Nigeria in 1958. <laughs> Reverently fear God. Oil money is used to, de to develop Saudi Arabia. The area where oil was found in Saudi Arabia, all the indigents of the area are millionaires. But in Nigeria, oil money is found in cemetery, warehouses, apartments, stores, Soak away, water tanks, etc. In Lagos, Abuja, Kaduna, etc. Poverty is everywhere in the riverine area, Niger Delta. All the indigents of the area are in extreme poverty. This is the latest improbable twist in the remarkable life of the nation, Nigeria. Watch this. Your major in the university can be focused on fixing things, engineers, electricians, or fixing people, doctors, nurses. But the magnificent aspect of all this is talent. Mistakes are not failures, they are learning opportunities. You achieve success through a series of failures. Do not be a know-it-all, be a learn-it-all. At news time, we are not know-it-all, but we are learn-it-all. Because no one is perfect, only the Creator, Almighty God, Allah, Jehovah, 
is perfect. Most in leadership has skill but no experience. Experience, money cannot buy. You must hope for the better even in the worst of times. You must set up your lineup for success. Building the right team can make refining your processes and continually progressing toward meeting your goals much, much smoother. The game is not won by individual players. It requires the effort of an entire team working together toward the same goal. Every successful nation, organization, etc. needs a strong and compassionate leader and decisive decision maker with a final say. If you do not have a team manager who can set the nation, organization, etc. vision, make tough decisions and clearly articulate his or her game plan to the team, your nation or organization, etc. will never go anywhere. Leadership, team captain, must be the consummate utility player, prepared to play any position as the need arises. In third world nations, cabinet ministers are too often focused on serving the president as their master instead of serving the people. High performing serving leadership all over the world turn their institutions organization chart upside down to keep everybody focused on the on the only master that counts, the people of the nation. The energy must come from the bottom up, not top down. Nigeria in particular, Africa in general, needs inclusive prosperity. Funding for non-profits, NGOs that encourage community cooperation and peaceful coexistence must start now. Such steps are necessary if the nation is to fulfill its aspiration of seeing North, South, East, West and Niger Delta, rich and poor, enjoy the nation together. In life, some things are easier done than said. If Niger Deltans that produce the oil and gas that feeds the entire nation, Nigeria, are not at the table of leadership, uh, they may end up continuing on the menu of poverty. Now hear this. President Lula of Brazil is a former union organizer with a fourth grade education. Lula rose to power as a voice for Brazil's disenfranchised poor. He proved to be an astute and charismatic politician with a dizzyingly high approval rate of 87%. During his tenure, Millions were lifted from poverty into the middle class, and Brazil experienced rapid economic growth. Now watch this. Let us go to the book Leadership by Mr. Tony Oyate, page 154 to 155. To the amazement of Nigerians and the Nigerian people, different classes of people have ruled the country, yet rather than progress, the nation is retrogressing to the brink of economic collapse. The people of Nigeria are mostly concerned when they remember and look around them and see that university educated people have held cabinet positions, including highly regarded, well respected professors. Yet, the nation has not improved in all spheres of life. The people oftentimes conclude that maybe this is what is meant to be. Hear this? Turning the issues over, one can ascertain that university degrees has nothing to do with good and effective leadership. One of the greatest and one of the most effective American presidents, President Harry Truman, was not a university graduate. The solution is not military, politician, graduate or illiterate. The solution is leadership with commitment to nation and her citizens, honor, duty, service, and most of all, compassion. The solution also needs dedication and hard work. Every Nigerian has a civic stake in the economic outcome of Nigeria. Saving Nigeria 
from political and economic oblivion is not complaining or criticizing the government or any one person. It is a collective responsibility of every Nigerian. Period. <laughs> oh my goodness. Leadership by Mr. Tony Oyate. Written in 1995. 26 years ago. Today in 2021. To God alone be all the glory. The first thing you need to do as a leader or human being is determine what the problem is then figure out how much it will cost to fix the problems. Leadership must sought to inject fresh optimism into a Nigerian public so disillusioned with the leadership establish establishment. New leadership must pledge not to be neither of the North, South, East, West, nor Niger Delta, but pledge instead to give Nigerians a better today and future. Hear this? There are 25 million Sikhs worldwide, mostly in India, compared to just 14 million Jews worldwide, according to the World Religion Database. Yet, in America, where at least 360,000 Sikhs belong to 246 congregations, the majority of American citizens know nothing, absolutely nothing, about Sikhism. At News Time, we are spiritual shepherds. We will continue to feed you with knowledge and understanding of the Word in the Three Holy Books. In this year, 2021 and beyond, please do not be discouraged. Everything will be alright. Look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, <laughs> it is all good. Financial abundance is here to stay. Good health, good relationships, money from sources you know and sources you don't know. Fear not. God has provided everything good for you today and every day in 2021 and beyond. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. All over the world, parents teach children about life, but not how to live without the parents. When you own less stuff, you have more money. It is always better to be overprepared than underprepared. Always remember, one person can truly make a huge impact. Unity is not an option, it is a necessity. The emphasis all over the world should be education not just certificate. When you are educated and you have a certificate, it is a plus. But when you have certificate and you are not educated, it is a huge minus. At News Time, we preach, speak, and teach according to the spiritual insight given to us through the three holy books. Our preaching is manifestly crystal clear and easy to comprehend, understand, but the ignorant willfully overlook the facts and twists and misconstrue to their utter misunderstanding, just as they distort and misinterpret the rest of the scriptures. Let us take a brief journey into the Holy Quran. It says, God teach the prophet through divine revelation. Whether you, mankind, disclose by good words of thanks a good deed done to you in the form of a favor by someone, or conceal it, or pardon an evil, verily God is ever oft pardoning, all powerful. For those who are well grounded in knowledge, there is a great reward. Recompense paradise in the hereafter. Unquote. Hear this. What you don't know can hurt you, costing you money. Leadership and government all over the world must spend money on education and enlightenment of the citizens for peace. At news time, we give and expect in return. 
and that you may be filled with the full, deep, and clear knowledge of the will of God in all spiritual wisdom, in comprehensive insight into the ways and purposes of God, and in understanding and discernment of spiritual things through the three holy books, bearing fruit in every good work, and steadily growing and increasing in and by the knowledge of God with fuller, deeper, and clearer insight, acquaintance, and recognition through the three holy books. We at Newstime have the testicular fortitude to speak the truth constantly, persistently, openly, and secretly. By reading the three holy books, you will have an increasingly clear knowledge of the divine truth. Preachers all over the world who speak the truth with sacred facts should be celebrated, not incarcerated or persecuted. At news time worldwide, our preaching of the truth stands sure and unshaken. The job of leadership all over the world is to help and relieve the people and to lead the people out of poverty to prosperity. We at news time will continue to use our voice for good around the world to bring peace and give healing to a fractured world with the word in the three holy books. Hear this? Remember that you are your own most valuable resource and always take good care of yourself. Good health is wealth. The solution to the tension between the three religions to comprehend that all religion is one is knowledge of the word in the three holy books. We at News Time Worldwide give you this preaching and teaching and speaking so that you may know with settled and absolute knowledge the truth with certainty. To make something great, you have to use the right materials. If you use the wrong materials, the result will not be great. Timeless truths is the victory of good over evil. All nations all over the world need establishment of absolute peace where righteousness and justice prevail without disruption. Uh, get it? We hope. We at News Time Worldwide continue to bring you the eternal gospel, good news of peace, through the word in the three holy books, to tell the inhabitants of the earth, to every race and tribe, and language and people no distinction to all mankind regardless of race color religion or nationality in closing leadership must provide security by promoting peace with peace there is security every nation and people that embrace peace dwell secure and well content in all aspects. Once again, thanks for taking the time and trouble to listen to News Time Worldwide. Please join us next week for another fascinating topic that will leave you scratching your head. May peace and blessings be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatu Allah. Shalom. Thank you for listening to Newstime with Mr. Tony Oyatedo. And until next time, peace attracts development.